Welcome Protege. In the previous tutorial we showed you how to do the mirror function under the sketch tab. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to create points in your sketch and what they're useful for. I'm going to make something similar to this aluminum breadboard. So I'm going to create a center point rectangle on the top plane. And I'll make this 8 by 8. And go ahead and extrude this to half an inch. Now let's create another sketch on this top face of that aluminum sheet. And now we'll start placing some points. And points are useful if you want to say create a create a hole in your part. Where last time to create the holes we we just did we just did a bunch of circles but if you wanted a different hole say a counter sunk or a counter bore hole you would have to use points so I'll go ahead and draw the first point and again I don't want to sit here and have to draw all the points to create this aluminum breadboard. So I'm going to use the rectangular pattern. And space those one inch apart. I'm going to speed this process up some since we already showed you how to do rectangular patterns. Alright, so I have all the all the holes placed, so now I'm going to stop the sketch. Now I'm going to choose hole and which is under the create tab. And now we can pick all of the points that we drew in our sketch. And then under the hole menu, we have a bunch of different options we can choose. We can choose a simple hole, counter bore, counter sink, and then we can choose the tap type. We have simple, a clearance hole, a tapped hole, and a taper tapped hole, and then we can choose the drill point. It can either be angled, this angle here, or it can be flat. But this, this tutorial isn't about holes. We'll have a tutorial on that later. This is mainly to show you why you would use points in your sketch. Another way to use points in your sketch is under construct. You can create planes through three points. You can create an, an access through two points. To give you an example I'll do a plane through three points so you can choose three points and now that gives you a plane on this face this is a simple example because you can just click on this face you wouldn't need to create this create this plane and also under construct you can create an axis through two points so you choose one point and then choose another one and now you have an offset axis from the x-axis that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe below or leave a question or comment